Um, we saw him early in the process. Uh, we scouted him a number of times. Uh, John and myself were out at the Mountain West Conference Tournament and saw him play out there. And then we had him in, I think he was in our first workout that we had right after the pre-draft camp. And uh, he's a guy we targeted, uh, we targeted probably back in October, November. We saw him practice early in the year, uh, our West Coast scout, Dave Bowenkel. And, you know, what was attractive about Tony and what we liked about him, first of all, he can shoot the basketball. Um, but we think he's got terrific tools. He's got great length. He's six, seven and a half. He's got a seven foot wingspan. Uh, he's a very good athlete. And we think he's a skilled basketball player with a lot of potential to get better. Uh, like I mentioned, he shoots the ball. Uh, he shot almost 40% from the three. Uh, he can handle the basketball. Even in college, we play in pick and roll situations. Uh, all our background tells us that uh, he's a terrific worker and, and a very good kid. So uh, we're really happy to get Tony. And then in the second round, to get Eric Murphy. Uh, again, it's something you've heard Tom talk about, you've heard me talk about, is improving our ability to shoot the basketball. And Eric Murphy uh, is a stretch four that was a 45% three-point shooter. And, you know, we think he's got a chance down the road to possibly help us because of his ability to stretch the floor and shoot the basketball. We will open it up for any questions. Tom, uh, when we talked to you the day after he lost uh, Miami, that was one of the main things that you mentioned was the desire to add more shooting. So how pleased are you to, to get two guys to project to, to contribute at that level? Oh, uh, very. I think we addressed the need. Uh, the guard and staff worked extremely hard all year uh, watching these guys. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, both guys shoot the ball extremely well. Uh, we feel that uh, Snell has a big side, uh, upside, and we feel the same way about Eric Murphy. So uh, you know, we're thrilled that we, we have the opportunity to add, add them to our team. Uh, Snell's obviously a very talented guy. Do you see him as somebody that can be a contributor even next season? Well, to me, that's going to be determined, you know, and, and that's going to be up to him and, uh, you know, what he comes in and puts into it. Uh, but we do think, you know, that, that he's a talented kid. Uh, that, that'll have a chance to come in and, and, you know, earn any playing time that he gets. But in, in, in looking at Tony, and, and again, we study him quite a bit, uh, you know, I, we think he's got a chance, you know, to possibly contribute this year. That'll be, he'll have to earn that on the floor like all our players do. But long term, we think there's great upside to Tony and, and think he's got a real chance because of his makeup, because of his tools, and because of his ability to shoot the basketball. Okay. Obviously, these guys are both great shooters, but how do you think they fit into the defensive-minded setup that this team has had, the defensive um, prowess that this team's had for the last few years? Well, for any rookie, the, 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 the first part of it is coming in and learning how to be a pro, learning the pro game, learning our system, uh, learning how to work. And, you know, the, you're just trying to get them to concentrate on steady improvement each and every day. Put everything you have into each and every day, improve. Uh, get out there, do your job, <coughs> know what your job is. Uh, you know, immediately you have a responsibility to the team. And, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. But we like the makeup of these guys. We think they're a good fit for us. Tom, Tom during the workouts, what did you, what, what maybe surprised you about Tony Snell that he, he did well even when you saw him out here? Well, we, you know, as I said, there's certain things that we look for in a player. And, He's got good length. Uh, he's an athletic wing. Uh, he can shoot the ball. And not, you know, obviously, we prioritize that. Uh, and we think he can grow. And we think there's a big upside to him. Uh, from everything that we've seen and what we've been told, he's a great worker. And that's a, that's a perfect fit. When a guy comes in and he does that, he'll improve. And, uh, you know, the first year, we'll be learning the league. But he'll have opportunities. Does Tony uh, fit your guys' preference to be able to guard multiple positions or did he project to be able to guard multiple positions or is he more of a... I, I think he's got a chance to, to guard multiple positions because of his length and his foot speed, you know. And, and again, he's going to have to learn, you know, our defensive philosophy and how we like to guard and those type of things. But, uh, you know, when, when we watched him, his length and athleticism was a real plus. And the other thing I really liked about Tony and our staff did when we watched him play is, you know, he was locked in and, and he 
was in a stance and it was it was important to him. So, um, you know, defensively, I you know we played in a good program, played for a good coach. Um, and I think those things all benefit him. With uh, Murphy after going uh, you know, with the wing in the first round, was it kind of a best available situation, or did you target him? Did you look for more of a stretch forward and kind of diversify the things that you had? Well, we're always going to take what we think is the best player available, but. With that said, you know, we'll tier guys. And if we have two or three guys uh, that we feel are of similar or similar talent, you know, then we may look at position and, and look at the fill a need. And that's one of the things we were talking about, the staff was talking about, as you know, the second round gets rolling pretty good with two minutes between picks. Uh, but if he was going to be available, we really liked his ability to shoot the basketball. Did you want to stretch for though? Well, somebody that could, that, that could shoot, you know, and, and uh, stretch for is you know something that could really be a plus for us. Did, did you also have Murphy in gear for a private workout? We did. And, and uh, how will he fit moving forward in Miritich to coming over next summer? I mean, that's to be seen. You know, but we'll, we'll see. We got, you know, we'll get Eric in here and he'll start working with us this summer and play on our summer league team and, and go from there. So, uh, but again, you know, tonight we were looking at you know trying to fill a need. Uh, or a guy that's got the possibility of filling the, and, and, you know, with Eric's ability to shoot the ball, we thought that was a real plus. I think in, uh, in today's NBA, you never have enough shooting. And we've used Lou as our stretch four. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to also stay big and, and have the stretch four. Uh, so it's a, I think it's a good weapon to have. Guard, guard those a big man down become a big priority in the trade or free agency. Is what in a big man down low? Well, yeah, we've still got you know some spots to fill, and uh, we'll have you know some spots on the front line and some spots on the perimeter. So um, <coughs> obviously, we've already begun our planning for free agency and had a lot of meetings and with our co-personnel scouts and our entire staff, and you know that'll kick off Monday, and we'll start to, to go to work on that. Okay, leading up to the draft tonight, there was a lot of talk about trades, moving guys, moving up in the draft. Was that something you guys investigated, or was that where you kind of set on Snell in that first round there? Well, you always investigate. You know, that's our job. And, you know, we looked at different opportunities, whether it was moving up, whether it was moving back, whether there, there were different trade possibilities, and, and got a sense of what was happening around the league and if there were any opportunities for us to improve. But... Uh, at the end of the day, there was nothing there that we felt was attractive enough to, to, to go ahead with. And, you know, again, Snell was a guy that, that we had targeted for quite a while. And, you know, when he was there, we were really happy to, to, to pick him with that 20th spot. What made um, Murphy stand out versus the other forwards as you worked out in here? Well, we didn't have Murphy come in and work out. Um, his agent felt he would go higher, you know, than that spot, so he didn't come in. But with that said, that's just a piece of the puzzle. I mean, we've scouted him for several years now. We do our background work. Uh, you know, he's at the combine. We get the athletic testing, the medical information there. So uh, he was a guy that throughout the year we had scouted quite a bit. Gar, there's so many similar-looking shooting guards at that spot in the draft, six, 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 seven guys who put up some more stats. What was it about Snell that stood out that uh, made him a choice? I, I, I think, Mike, is just the combination of his length and athleticism and his ability to shoot it. And like I said, the other thing that stood out to us was I think he's got a he's got a nice handle also. And when we watched New Mexico during the year, there were times that, that he would push the ball in transition or he would initiate offense and play the point in some form. So uh, I certainly don't think he's a point guard but I think it can be a secondary handler as he goes forward.